What's up guys? Welcome to the Passion of Business TV, helping you transition your passion into a business. And today's quick tip, we're going to be showing you how to set up your own Facebook page for your business. Coming up next. All right, guys, welcome back to the Passion of Business TV network, helping you transition your passion into a business. And today we're actually going to be showing you how to set up your own Facebook page. So here we are. Once you click on the home tab and I'll blur some of my personal information out over just different people that I don't have their permission to use. But what you want to do is you go along here on the left hand side and you want to click on pages. What pages will actually do is take you to uh, just a bunch of different pages that you have going on here. And what what will happen is you'll see a button at the top right that will say create page. So once you would go ahead and click on that, what you want to do is go ahead and figure out what kind of page do you actually want to start? Do you want to start like a local business? Is it like a, a brick and mortar type place? Um, you know, is it a particular company, organization, or institution, a brand or a product or a cause? Maybe you're doing like a nonprofit or just some kind of entertainment channel or something like that. But a lot of times if you don't have your own website, this is an excellent option of what you can use so that you can have an online presence. If Facebook could be a, a country, it'd probably be the third biggest in the world, I believe is what the statistics stated uh, back in 2015. And so let's go ahead and state that we have a company or something that we want to start. So let's say it's an aer aer aerospace company. So we're going to call it uh, space and rocket world. How about that? So let's go ahead and click get started. Awesome. So once we went ahead and click get started, now we have where we can add our own personal picture. We can add a cover. We can add a button if we want people to go to uh, our website, if we want them to sign up for maybe let's say the space and rocket handbook uh, for entrepreneurs, you know, whatever it may be. You'll also have a bunch of great tips. You also have people that you can invite along the side here. And again, I'll block all of uh, my personal people's information out. And uh, that way, as you can see, and you start inviting them to like your page. One of the great things about having your own Facebook page is that you can schedule events. You now have the ability to go ahead and do live sessions. So if you want to share that, uh, once you go ahead and click on that, like if you're on your phone, you can do it as well. And you can upload a, a photo or a video that you have already shared. Another great feature is that you can schedule a uh, post to actually uh, post up. So let's say I want to type in today uh, was an amazing day. Oops. At the center. But you know, let's say I want this to schedule for later. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll schedule this for uh, you know, let's say in 20 minutes. So 12, 15, schedule that, and then it'll be scheduled. But I actually don't want to post anything to this because I'll be doing this later. So another thing that you have here, and all of this will be as soon as you sign up, just as you see right here, well, you can go ahead and add in a particular uh, adventure. You want a uh, picture or event that you want, and then you can, you know, let's say you want to do uh, a live session uh, later on today or in the next couple hours, and you may want to call it a, a intro to aerospace not the group even though they're fantastic <laughs> and so you can create publish and it'll set that up people that you invite people that come and like the page if they are, they're able to come and do that even if you don't um, let, let's say you have a, a business line or anything like that uh, they can message you directly and it can show up on your phone and you can schedule all of that to happen on your Facebook page so it really gives you a lot of tools right up front if you have your own particular website like spaceandrocketworld.com or something like that. I don't know if that's actually a company's name. Then you can set that up also so that people can go ahead and tag you uh, in different things. Um, like I have mine, which is at coach Diana, Diana Gladney. Then you can do this like at arrow Facebook or FB. Let's just call it arrow face. Oh, it isn't available, huh? Uh, let's do this HQ. So arrow still not available. What is this mutiny? How about this? You can always do it with an underscore or dash or something like that. And geez, how about this? Add like several numbers. Oh, characters aren't allowed. But so anyways, that's what you can use there for uh, setting up your page. You can add in photos. If you have something that you uh, 
want to add in, let's say you've already taken pictures, which I highly, highly suggest, no matter if you have a brick and mortar location, if you're just working with someone, always go ahead and capture images. Stop what you're doing. Just take a quick selfie, take a snapshot, have a stranger take the picture for you capture the moments of what you're doing in your business. If you have actual physical items and things like that for sale, then I encourage you to go ahead and add those in and add in uh, your shop section and let people check out with you. You can use PayPal. You can use a, a myriad of other sections as well. Uh, but this is really a great, great tool that you can use to go ahead and get started in your business. And then also also start sharing blog information and posts of uh, what's, what you have going on in your business or things that are uh, happening. So I definitely highly encourage you to do that so you can add in, um, like I said, your blog posts right here and actually go ahead and share that with people that are interested in your community. So hopefully you enjoyed today's uh, quick tip. What what do you use for your website or to have an online presence? Do you use Facebook? Do you just stick with whatever social media channels on your personal page? Or do you have your own website? Link it up down below uh, and let me know what you guys use. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video uh, just on how to set up a Facebook page and something that you can do to actually launch your business. So I will chat with you guys later. Like the video if you like it. But otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. This is so funny right now. Susan Parker. Seven. The one. Seven one two. <laughs> Susan Parker seven one two four. So if your name just so happens to be Susan Parker, you can use seven one two four.